Dr. Scrubs. Hey, Mr. Nye. Good to be on your show today. Good to have you here. Well, today we're going to start talking about Milliken, who... Nearing the end of the 19th century, the discovery of radioactivity caused a cloud of doubt over the mind of many physicists. No generally accepted model of the atom was formed because physicists could not agree that the atom was indivisible. Electric charge, however, was generally believed to be infinitely divisible, but it made no connection to the atom. To explain the connection between electricity and matter, some scientists in the late 19th century argued that there had to be a fundamental unit of electricity. In 1891, the Irish physicist George Stoneley introduced the term electron to describe this smallest unit of negative charge. Also, in 1897, J.J. Thompson, an English physicist, conducted a series of experiments on cathode rays and after observing that the beam of light in the cathode ray tubes is attracted to a positive charge and repelled by a negative charge, he concluded that the rays consist of a stream of small, electrically negative charged particles which have a mass over a thousand times less than that of a hydrogen atom. Thus, Thompson discovered the mass of the electron, another piece to the puzzle. But Thompson could not accurately measure the charge of the electron. In 1909, using Thompson's result, Robert A. Millikan found a value for the electron charge. The experiment he used is called the oil drop experiment, and it was the first successful scientific attempt to detect and measure the effect of an individual subatomic particle. For this and his work on the photoelectric effect, Millikan won the 1923 Nobel Prize in Physics. His experiment, which found the charge of an electron, first used water, which failed. And so, he did his experiment with... Oil! Millikan's experiment worked like this. Millikan set out to find the charge on a drop of oil. Because he knew the mass and the force of gravity on the drops, he could find Q, the charge they must have. Today, because of this experiment, we know the charge always has a multiple of negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb, which is the charge on a single electron. Here's how it worked. An atomizer sprayed a fine mist of oil droplets into the chamber. Some of these tiny droplets fell through a hole in the upper floor. Millikan first let them fall until they reached terminal velocity, which is the fastest an object can fall. Using the microscope, he measured their terminal velocity, and by use of a formula, calculated the mass of each oil drop. Next, Millikan applied a charge to the falling drops by illuminating the bottom chamber with x-rays. This caused the air to become ionized, and electrons to attach themselves to the oil drops. By attaching a battery to the plates above and below the bottom chamber, he was able to apply an electric voltage. The electric field produced in the bottom chamber by this voltage would act on the charged oil drops. If the voltage was just right, the electromagnetic force would just balance the force of gravity on a drop, and the drop would hang suspended in midair. Okay, let's look at the calculations Millikan was now able to do. When a drop is suspended, its weight, m times g, is exactly equal to the electric force applied, q times e. The values of e, the applied electric field, m, the mass of the drop, and g, the acceleration due to gravity, are all known values. So you can solve for q, the charge on the drop Millikan determined. Then he redid the experiment numerous times, each time varying the strength of the x-rays ionizing the air, so that differing numbers of electrons would jump onto the oil molecules each time. He obtained various values for Q. The charge Q on a drop was always a multiple of negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. Thanks for joining us today, kids. Please also thank Dr. Scrubs for his contribution on today's episode. And be sure to join us for another action-packed episode next week.
record it? Yes. No. <laughs> Do it. No. Yes. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Just hit the damn record button! You're done talking. Therefore, you're over here. There you go. Okay. Why are you down there? Because I pop up and say oil. Oh, okay. I, I've already said it on the film. I said it on the film. I don't know how to do it. You don't tell me. No, we need to watch a video. We don't have a video. You don't want time either. No. It's the last day. Damn it! That's on the recording. Hopefully you're smart enough to cut that one out. Science rules!